10% off any game sales purchase if you use my code at checkout, link below, thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with some more Dying Light 2 content where I'm going to show you guys a glitch slash trick to get the most overpowered weapons in Dying Light 2. These things literally one-shot any basic enemy and can two-shot things like demolishes. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now just quickly before I get started, I didn't know about this until I saw a post from Respawn Gentleman. I'll link his original video down below. He's a really good creator if you're looking for all the news and info on this game, so go check him out. So these weapons I'm talking about are the weapons you use in the events in the Bloody Ties DLC. So to perform this trick, you do need the expansion. Now if you want these weapons and you don't want to buy the expansion or you can't afford it, you can have someone drop it for you, which is pretty easy. So join the Discord link below and just ask in one of the Dying Light 2 channels. Hopefully someone can help you out. So if you've played the expansion, you know that each event doesn't actually let you use your own weapons and equipment, it does actually force you to use a set to loadout, where you can use a trick to get these weapons that it gives you out of the events and keep them permanently. And when this happens, they do keep all their properties and stats from inside these events, so when they come out of the events and you're using them in the real world, they are super overpowered. Now here on screen, you can see me using some of the weapons to completely clean through groups of enemies without much trouble at all and for some reason they also have some sort of property while you've got them equipped that regenerates your stamina super fast. Obviously it does only happen when you're holding that weapon but sometimes I can just swing infinitely with these weapons without ever running out of stamina. All right so how to get these weapons? Unfortunately it doesn't work with every single event within the arena but it does work with a few and you can do this to get a bunch of different weapons. So the first one I'll show you is the event called one day in Haran. Now, if you've completed it already, you just need to come to the poster room. This is the same with any event mentioned in this video, and you can click on the poster for that specific event to replay it. So there are two ways you can get this trick to work. You can either do it on a weapon you find around the map, or you can use another trick I'll show you later to do it on the weapon you are holding. Now, once you've loaded into the event, you can find the weapon that we'll be using by taking a left and getting right up here. Now, in this specific event, it will either be the Tribunal Axe or the machete that you will find. Both are definitely good and they have that overpowered property, although I do prefer the machete because it is, of course, a lot faster. So to do this, you're going to look at the weapon when you're ready. Be mindful of the virals that might climb up here and try and ruin your day. But once you are ready, you're going to hold the cancel button. You can see what it is on the left here. And when it's about halfway or three quarters way, you're going to quickly press the pickup button on the weapon. If you've done this successfully, it'll show that you picked up the weapon after you've left the event. And when you check your inventory, it should be there. And that's how you do the first trick. Now this will work on literally any dropped weapon you find in any of the tournament events, and you can farm them infinitely. So I can run straight back into the same event and farm it again to try and get the machete, for example. And sometimes they'll come with different mods equipped, and sometimes they won't have any mods at all, and you can add your own. Now if you look at these bad boys in your inventory, you'll see that the damage is kind of low, but you need to ignore that because the game clearly does not care about that damage number because these weapons are are insanely overpowered. So there are some events that don't have a weapon for you to pick up, but there's a way for you to drop the weapon you are holding and then do the trick to that weapon on the ground. So to do this, you're going to use the infinite spear glitch, which I will show you. So before we do this, you need to go to your game settings and make sure swap weapon is turned on. For PC, the button to swap the weapon will become G. PlayStation, I believe it's X and Xbox, it should be A. So I'm going to start the event called Hephaestus's Forge. So when we spawn in, you want to pick up a spear and we need to find another one to do the swap glitch with. So if you follow my path, we can find another one. It should just be over here on the left. So now you want to hold that weapon button we mentioned earlier, not the one that it shows on screen, the one that we mentioned earlier. So I'll hold G because I'm on PC, even though it tells me to hold F. So I'll hold G on the spear and you'll see it drop my machete on the floor. Now you can just do the pickup trick if you like, but of course there are zombies everywhere. They might start crowding you. If that happens, you can make use of the spear glitch that we just did, which means you can throw infinite spears, and that'll help you completely clear out the entire event, no problem. So once it's safe to do so, you can run over, and you can do the thing where you hold the cancel button and pick up the weapon at the same time. And there you go, you can see that it did in fact work. We have the falsetto machete in our inventory. Now you can buy this weapon from the vendor, but this version that I've picked up from the event will be far more powerful than the one you get from the vendor, obviously because it came from the actual event, so it has that 
bugged overpowered property. Now an awesome thing about the forge event that we just did is it has a cool crossbow you can use as well. So I'm going to start it again and this time we're going to try and get that exclusive crossbow. Alright so now just before we do this spear glitch I'll pull up my weapon wheel and you can see we have a couple weapons to choose from and I'm going to do it with the crossbow. You can see when we do the spear glitch it now drops the crossbow on the ground because that's what I had equipped. So I've cleared everything out now and I'm going to repeat that pickup trick and bam now I have the carnage crossbow to keep for myself permanently. And there you go guys that's the trick these weapons are broken so make use of this before they fix it. Try and collect them all if you can don't forget you can farm this endlessly. If someone figures out a way to get the cool weapons in the other events that don't have spears or weapon pickups like the claws in the gorilla fight for example then I'll be sure to post an update so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications turned on. Take care guys I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.